This must be one of the scariest things that a film photographer can do. At least, that's what I'm thinking after seeing all of those messages in my DM. By the way, my voice still needs a CLA, so... Yeah. A lot of people asked me, what's the best way to fly with film? So here we go. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk It Over. First, let's see what I bring with me on a holiday. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that I'm in Italy at the time of this upload. Besides the luggage where all of my clothes and other stuff are in, I bring one backpack with me filled with everything that I need. I bring all of this stuff with me because I want to film some episodes while I'm there. If I would only take photos then I would ditch the cinema camera and only bring my two Leica bodies. Maybe the GoPro to film some stuff, but that's it. And now you might think, where's the film? Because that's the most important one, to be honest. I'll show you guys how I do it and I feel it's the best way to do it and also have the best possibility to get your film hand checked because that's what we are going for the hand check we don't want our film to go through the scanners because that might mess up the film there are mixed opinions about this some people say that they fly with film all of the time and they never had any problem with it and others say that it totally ruined the film Carmen C the film lab just released a blog post all about this and they did an experiment with different film stocks and they found out that it does affect the film. I'll leave a link down below if you want to read the full blog post. So in my opinion it's better to be safe than sorry. You can always try to get a hand check. If they decline, so be it. And to make the life of the airport security as easy as possible, this is how I do it. Get yourself a transparent Ziploc bag. Get all of your film out of the packaging and if you're shooting 35mm film Get it also out of the canister. Not the film canister, but the little plastic thing. Put all of the film inside of this bag so they can see it. And I've just done that with a lot of film. Maybe it's too much, but again, I'd rather be safe than sorry. But this seems a little bit crazy though. Make sure that there's nothing else in it. And they might even want to do a swap to make sure that there's no other substance. What I also put in this bag is a sheet that I created. This says that the film is light sensitive and it could be damaged by x-rays or any other type of light. So please hand check. I've got it in three different languages so everybody can read it easily. Because I'm going from the Netherlands to Italy, I've got it in English, Dutch and Italian. If you guys are interested in this sheet, I've got it on my online shop as a downloadable PDF, including three different languages, English, Spanish and French. But there's also an empty sheet where you can fill in your own language or the language from the country that you're traveling to. What I do is to get this printed at my local drugstore where there's a photo print machine. 10 by 15 centimeters is big enough and I put it inside of this bag. One extra in my backpack if necessary. This makes things way easier for the security and you don't have to explain a lot. So I'll put a link down below to this sheet. After the holiday or trip, you end up with the rolls that you have shot and maybe some rolls that you didn't touch. That's why I bring another Ziploc bag to separate the rolls. You can put this bag inside of the other so they think that it's only one bag they have to check. All of those little things makes the possibility that they will do the hand check a little bigger. Also make sure that you put on a big smile and ask politely. That will go a long way too. A tip? Make sure that you don't have any film inside of your camera because they might want to put the camera through the scanner. You also don't want them to open it up while there's still a roll of film in it. Even though shooting film is a normal thing to us, to most people outside of our passion, it's a thing of the past. So make sure that you're able to explain things if they ask for it. And don't get irritated by them not understanding. I hope this was helpful and eases your mind 
the next time you fly with film. I've got a pack now and make sure that everything is ready for the holiday and relax for a bit. If you have any more questions, please leave them down below in the comments. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace.